Any meal done in 15 minutes or less is just gold. And no, there won't be a small lizard walking out to accompany me. Excluding the prep time, this cauliflower fried rice comes together that quickly. It's everything that you could ask for in your original fried rice without the grain, it's lower calories, and we're keeping the protein. Ricing your cauliflower is probably where you need to give the most attention. And I would go with a food processor as my first option Blender is my second, because you're either going to end up with rice, hummus, or a raw smoothie. I guess all smoothies are raw, technically. Just ignore. Act like you didn't hear the raw part. In a food processor, it's so easy to control the tempo using the pulse option. I'll do it maybe, you know, four to like eight times, and then I'll check how everything's going. I've gone as far as dumping everything out of the food processor into a bowl and then pulling out the larger pieces, returning them back to the processor. This way I can pulse those on their own. This helps with not over-ricing some 
and under icing the others. Before even getting into any steps, make sure to wash, rinse, and allow the cauliflower to dry up a bit. Having your cauliflower dry is not required, but it's helpful when trying to rice it. It helps the cauliflower be less stuck in the machine and later on in the cooking process. Most of my meals, regardless, breakfast, lunch, dinner, I try to find a way to sneak a reasonable amount of protein into the dish. And while most may feel that's to help build or maintain muscle, it actually helps a meal like this one be more satiating, leaving the body not yearning for food within the hour. Also, protein does way more than just help with muscle. So for this meal, the biggest source of that is going to be the tofu. And we're doing our own little version of scrambled eggs, reminiscent of the original versions of fried rice. You could certainly choose a different option here, like mushrooms or no option at all. Or say you wanna add something in, but you've already started the cooking process. I'll share with you in a bit where you could add something in. If you were avoiding soy, Outside of opting for an alternative for the tofu, the soy sauce in the recipe could be swapped with a no soy soy sauce or coconut aminos. Hoisin sauce typically has soy in it also. As a quick option, you could do like a vegan Worcestershire sauce or a steak sauce, which is frequently plant-based. When starting to cook, make sure to use a very large skillet. I have had to swap skillets in the middle of cooking before. Not only is it like super annoying, you have to get the new one up to temperature. It's almost like when you go to wash the old one, it's making fun of you. Or maybe that's just me. In your large skillet, you're going to use a high heat oil, avocado, peanut, canola, vegetable. If you don't have none of these, no worries. I've fried rice in olive oil, even plant butter before. Although I, I guess that was rice, not technically cauliflower. When you get your oil into the pot, eye it for just a bit. As you wanna wait to add anything, just until the oil begins to smoke a tiny bit. Once you're there, it's go time. Get your ingredients in there and remember to keep moving. Onions, carrots, sweet peas. You could also do edamame, green beans, broccoli, corn, baby corn, bell peppers. There's so many good options. And shortly after, get your cauliflower in. Quick tip, when I'm in a pinch or I'm just looking for a good combination of vegetables, I go to the frozen food section. It's a good way to find a good collection of vegetables that go together well, and you can use it right into the recipe. Just be careful as adding frozen vegetables into the hot oil, you're gonna see a lot of vigorous bubbling right away. And remember, you're only using a teeny bit of oil, so you shouldn't see too much oil coming back at you. Shortly after getting the vegetables going, you wanna add your cauliflower. The cauliflower will need to cook for just a bit. This way you can help evaporate the moisture within it. And once you're almost there, you can create a well in the center of the skillet or the center of the ingredients. And that would be your next opportunity to add whatever plant protein in there that you like and get it cooked up. Now that you're closer to the finish line, we're gonna drop in the sauce and it's all gonna go completely to the base and not soak into the rest of the ingredients right away. Simply avoid letting it sit though by immediately stirring until well combined. This recipe is linked in the description or head over to my website, makeitdairyfree.com. Interested in more content or more 15 minute recipes? Check out one of the on-screen video options. Thank you so much for hanging out. Until next time, believe in good. Peace.